back to the Philippine Sports Writers Association Sports Forum for the final session this morning. We are live here at the ground floor of the Philippine Sports Commission building inside the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. And this morning, we will talk about the plans and programs of the new leadership of the Philippine Sports Commission. I'm Randy Kaluag of Manila Standard. Good morning, partners. Good morning, Philippine Sports Writers Association. We are happy to be here at the PSC ground floor for the live face-to-face uh, -face, uh, edition of our PSA forum. We are being live streamed at www.fb.com slash Philippine Sports Writers Association and Radio Filipinas DOS. We're also being aired on a delayed basis over 918 kHz. AMRP2. So hope that you are joining us and please don't forget to like and share us. Bago mo ipakilala ang ating special guest, sa ngala ng ating uh, Pangulo sa PSA, Rayla Chica ng Tempo Manila Bulletin, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Philippine Sports Commission, Philippine Olympic Committee, Pagcor, San Miguel Corporation, at Milo Philippines. Ayan na! Okay, the last time he guested in our PSA forum was in a Zoom interview and we were talking about the next uh, PSC chairman and he was asking us sino pong matunog na pangalan sabi niya sa atin sino pong mahirap daw dyan eh yun ang sabi ng ni Mr. Bachman without knowing it that after a couple of months he'll be the one to uh, to have this position the very important position in our sports agency national sports agency so he's a basketball player he's an executive in the pba and you know now he is a public servant the uh, chairman of the philippine sports commission chairman richard dickie bachman good morning welcome this is your first time to be here at the psa forum Kamusta po? Uh, magandang umaga and thank you for having me. Uh, this is my actually my first uh, PSA forum, so informal lang ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Let's keep this as light as possible, Chairman. Uh, marami po tayong paparating na sports, maraming uh, of course yung grassroots pa rin, hindi nawawala. Ano po yung core ng inyong plans and programs for uh, at least in the first year ng inyong leadership? Let's go. Let's start talk about the first year let's talk about Mula the first three months okay so I've been actually uh, I'm here to serve the athlete and serve the sport nothing else okay so for me to serve the athlete so all I see in my office basically is names of athletes of different sports so I told myself that I'll be going around uh, and meeting these athletes not them coming to me in my office because I plan to serve the athlete I should go to them okay I, I don't want to be that chairman who's stuck in the office and they all come to me I will go to them and that's what I've been doing for the past month okay I went to Batangas for the windsurfing I met all the athletes uh, I went to Baguio and met a couple of athletes from boxing, from Muay Thai, from long distance running. And I've been going around Metro Manila also and attending their practices. Uh, so also for me to serve the athlete, I also have to take care of my back of house. When I say back of house is the people here in, in PSC, the employees, because I won't be able to serve without their help. So I've been also meeting everyone from uh, all their departments, all the employees, okay? And I, wa I wanna see for myself the situation that they have in, the, in their offices. So hopefully I will be able to turn that around if there's any issues. There is issues. So if I will be able to turn it around, then I need to see it. No. Okay, partner, we at this time, uh, Chairman, uh, kamusta mismo yung mga athletes? Kamusta mismo yung mga National Sports Associations na nabisita mo? Ano kaagad ang pwede nating uh, uh, unang bigyan ng pansin habang yung countdown sa mga papalapit na games ay definitely palapit ng palapit three months to go before the SEA Games? 
channel. Yeah, it's perfect because it's at budget time right now. This past few, this past week. Okay, so mm -hmm. I've separated all the sports to all commissioners, and we are actually going through budget now. So they're submitting their budget, and for me, uh, instead of you know the usual practice before they submit their budget and. You know, the commissioners that don't actually know what is happening to the athlete or the practices. So I'm encouraging also all the my commissioners to go out. So when they do do present the budget, you know, alam niyo ako kung ano nangyayari sa atleta all that the facilities. You know, so I've been going around and there's a there's a lot of issues that I have to fix, especially with the facilities. What I did for the first month is basically may mga delay ng allowances. Okay, so I fast track na to release all the allowances of all these national athletes. It's not the fault of the PSC, because sometimes basically it's the fault also of the NSA that they don't submit the paperwork right. on time. Okay, so I'm trying to fast track and find a better way to actually collaborate with the NSA and, and uh, PSC so we can actually release that. The, the allowances. The second, I'm, the second part I'm doing to help out also the athlete is for free meals for all the athletes. Okay, this is something I, I'm working with uh, with accounting and finance, and for me to find also the budget. So I've been going on all the facilities and finding budget for for the changes I will make in my first month. Thank you, Aba Cordero, Philippine Star. Good morning, Chairman. Um, we're all aware that uh, your hands are full, but the immediate, uh, you know, the, the, in, in less than 100 days, it's the Sea Games now. So, as as the funding arm of, of sports, uh, what's what's the latest book regarding the Sea Games? Well, the chef of mission for the Sabi Asian Games is Chito Lesaga. So. No, Chito Lazaga is basically like family to me. So I'm working uh, together with him. And also there is a point person in the PSC that actually is connected and will work with, uh, with um, uh, Chito Lazaga and his group. You know, I'm also, you know, had, had dinner with uh, Sir Bumble Tonatino uh, of the POC. You know, I've asked already to form a committee of the PSC and the POC so we can actually work together on all the events leading towards the Olympics. Now he mentioned also that he is also kind of, how he works is hands, he's hands-on, he's hands-on, so basically perfect for me because I'm also hands-on. So you'll see us working together for Philippine sports and for the Philippine athlete. And uh, it's always been asked, yung, yung, yung pong budget for the SEA Games, uh, has it been um, earmarked or a lot of uh, Yeah, there is already budget in my GAA, so wala problem sa budget. Uh, how much what for the SEA Games or uh, a lot of this? Stuff? I'll get back to you on the figure because uh, so I'm looking at all the figures even for the grassroots program. But there is a lot that already uh, budget. So th th there shouldn't be an issue on any budget. Okay, Bong Pedralves, Malaya. Actually, I'm looking at the budget, Chairman, and for preparation, for the Southeast Asian Games, you have 140 million. Uh, just uh, fortunate, 140 million uh, for the budget. For that, uh, I actually didn't want to mention, but since you're mentioning it today, training and participation uh, for the Southeast Asian. I just cut it. Uh, actually, we were we wrote about it already about two weeks ago. Anyway, uh, Chairman, I will lang naman sabi, you want to keep this like what. So you made the transition from the corporate to the uh, as a public servant right now. What is uh, what are the le learning experiences you, you have had so far? You transition you from corporate to being a public servant, being the commission uh, chairman of the National Government Sports Agency. Well, uh, let's go one by one. So basically, um, just the, the finance and accounting. Here in the PSC, it's not automated. Right now, it's Excel sheets. So uh, I'm actually proposing to automate the, the accounting system of the of the PSC. Uh, I'm also kind of tired of you know, you know people tell me that uh, corporate kase because I'm not a gobierno. So my answer to that is, pasa sa tama, wala naman corporate, wala naman gobierno, so. 
And uh, I'm just kind of also disappointed when I saw the office, the back of house. I also saw the facilities. Mm. So there's a lot of fixing to be done. A lot of um, what I did basically is hire, I hired, um, which is not finished yet, consultants. So I'm going to have around uh, eight to ten consultants, which will be here actually almost every day. Uh, and uh, so I will have a small uh, group of people in my office that will help, help speed up things for the PSC, be it from uh, what's this accounting to NSA affairs to procurement to bidding. I'll be involved in every single department just to speed up things and to make and so I can present to the board faster and we can make decisions, we can have decide faster also. Do we expect a, the fourth commissioner to be named in the next few weeks or days, uh, Chairman Back? Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping that the, the fourth commissioner will be already there because, uh, as I said uh, a while ago, I divided the sports. And I want to be, I want to go around and overall and go around all the sports so I can pass on the sports I have to that, to that commissioner. Okay? Just to remind the athletes also that. This is not one time I will go there and see you next year. This is basically regularly I'm going to all the practices, all the, the sports. Sir, uh, just the last question, then I will give it to our other colleagues. Given the fact that the first major international multi-event competition under your watch will be the Saudi Station Games, considering uh, you've already read the news of the handicapping system, uh, with regards to the, uh, the Cambodian force, as far as sports, as far as events, uh, what, given now that uh, more or less you have a feel of the agency, what would be, uh, from your point of view, from where you sit right now, what, be, what would be our uh, realistic expectations for the Cambodian Saudi Station Games? You know, I had also uh, um, an interview, online interview yesterday, on, and all he asked was basically, uh, how many medals are you gonna are you gonna win now? Southeast Asian Games? Are you gonna do better than last year? And my my focus will be basically a short, you know, focus just focus on the athlete, make sure their needs are all taken care of, and then that would basically follow. Really, and they'll perform well at that. So that's my short term. And, I'm not even thinking of you know how many medals are we gonna do. Just focus on the athlete. Focus on the NSA. If he needs if he needs help, then fine. There was one example I'll give you. Um, a mother a mother messaged me uh, from ping pong. Table tennis. Uh, table tennis. Sorry. And then um, that uh, they had training in France, and uh, the son basically has no visa yet. Okay, so all I did was, and they were leaving in two days. So basically, I just had asked help from my FIBA family. Okay, so I just, does anyone know, you know, the, um, the ambassador of France that can help out? So basically, right then and then in an hour, they gave me the contacts. And the, the, son, the son was able to leave and, and follow to the training camp, leading towards the tournament. And then my message, and I met the table tennis NSA, and all I just said was, if you have any trouble, the PSC is here, I'm here and to help. So if, as long as we all work together for the athlete, for the sport, well, that's not a problem. Okay? Thank you very much. Next question is from Lito Oredo Abante. Uh, and thank you, Pala, to my FIBA family, because they were a big help uh, to us. Good morning, Chairman. Um, Chairman, since you said that uh, you, you want uh, importance on the facilities. Paano po natin ito uh, pinaplano? Kasi may, mayroong isang programa ang PSC yung nasa bataan. It is a complete training um, uh, plans. But uh, ironically, parang hindi matutuloy or in, 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 in hold. Um, paano po ba any update on that? Well, the budget is in my GAA, pero has, what was told to me was um, there's a lot of NSAs, basically, that don't want to go there. And it's a six, 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 six to eight years from now, 
kasi gagawin pa yata yung bridge sa uh, ano uh, the bridge to Bataan eh from Naik yata eh, from Naik to Bataan eh. and that's a long time from now you know I I would actually I am proposing that they that budget be transferred to you know the facilities of the PSC so we can actually fix you know I've been to Baguio the facilities there you know it's a two year old building uh, Tumutulo. I have the EMSAS uh, building here. It's a two-year-old building. Uh, so many issues, you know. So I'm going one by one and trying to figure out, you know, what's the problem? Two years, then you know, the building, right? So I have to look at the contractor, have the list of contractors, you know, who's approving this. So there's a lot of stuff I have to do. Chairman, any options? Meron na ba kayong uh, napiling posibleng paglipatan? Uh, wala pa sir. So, just basically, I have to work with everyone involved, the POC, PSC, and the government also. Last, last question, Chairman. Um, Kaloyulo po is having problems kasi merong uh, mag magtatapat yung qualifying and yung SEA Games. Nakapag-usap na po ba kayo sa POC with regards to that? Kasi sa, siguro may mga other athletes tayo na mag uh, mag-compete sa qualifying events and then syempre baka mag-mix din dun sa pag-compete nila sa SEA Games or maybe sa Asian Games. Well, I would, the last time I talked to uh, Ma'am Sincha Caryon was that he won't be able, he will not be actually joining the South Asian Games. So it's also a perfect time for other athletes who's been training to actually step up and perform for the national athlete. Same thing with, uh, I understand Haidelin also is not performing in the Southeast Asian Games. So it's about time other athletes to step up. And that's why we have a national pool. That's why also we have a grassroots, so everyone gets involved. Thank you, Clyde Mariano, good morning. Good morning, sir. A very famous WBA. <laughs> you visited all the training facilities as well as the athletes training training in their for preparation for the game. So are the coaches updated you regarding the physical and mental condition and as well as their winning chances in the South East Asia games? Well, it's something I'm looking into also, right? So I've been also meeting, when I go to the practice facilities, I've been actually meeting coaches, okay? Especially foreign coaches. You know, I've seen how much we pay uh, these foreign coaches. And together with Commissioner Edward Heiko, we propose that, you know, uh, for all these foreign coaches, at least spend maybe two, three hours a month to actually transfer technology to the, to the local coaches, to transfer, uh, you know, talk to the grassroots, the kids. Because in, in when I was handling all the the grassroots of Alaska, it's an advantage to have a you know an idol. You know, with Alaska, it's the Alaska Aces team. So in all my grassroots, maskina football, maskina volleyball, I had my PBA players go there. Because when the kids see their idol, then it's a lot easier to connect. Ah, uh, Chairman, since yes. the since the sports agency is operating on a limited budget or bigger resources. So there are more than 70 national sports associations under the umbrella of Philippine Olympic Committee. What, how would you help this NEC? Do you impose the idea or the policy, no grassroots program, no budget? Indeed, I'm sir. There's always a, I always work with a win-win situation, sir. So that's why we have this budget hearing from starting last month, uh, yesterday, all the way till next week. Okay. Also, sir, uh, it's also I have to explain to most of the commissioners and also the all the stakeholders. Sports is different nowadays. That you know, you just go to each NSA or dalawang international tournaments, ito yung mga local tournaments. Nowadays, there's actually windows you have to join, point systems you have to make to actually to qualify. So it's totally, it's totally different nowadays. And it's something I have to explain also to you know, the, the stakeholders who give us budget. Last question, Mr. Chairman. Your job in the PSA is multifarious. 
Okay, so how can you split up? Sir, tinatapat ko ako yung mga Aming informal eh. Okay, pero lang, pero. How would you carry out successfully your program uplifting Philippines for to greater height in the Philippine athletes gain international fame under your leadership for six years? Sir, it is not about me, sir. It's not only me. Uh, for me to, for us, you know, I'm going to use the Alaska phrase, no, we, not me. So, um, for us to succeed. I'll need the support of everyone, including you guys, including my back of house, my employees, all the athletes, all the stakeholders, the POC. I can go down the line. If we have no support from everyone, it will still be the same. Chairman, in addition to my question, there are NSAs do not have grassroots program, viable and long sustainable program in their respective association. So, how would you help them as chairman of PSG? to encourage them to develop their classroom program and ultimately give the country international film in international in, film in international competition like the forthcoming South Asia Challenge. Okay, sir, I'll just keep it simple. Okay, so when I stepped in and I took a look at all the grassroots program, let's put it this way, the PSC has its own grassroots program. The NSA has all its grassroots programs. The government officials who give money to the PSC also have their own grassroots program. So my job is basically to to merge everyone, all those all those uh, plans to make it one. Because sometimes what's happening now is, you know, um, you have grassroots program na hindi naman kasali yung mga NSA. Hindi dapat ganon, diba? Dapat kasali palagi yung NSA because they can actually pinpoint on sino yung mga atleta, okay? Also, um, you also, let's say, your Batang Pinoy. That's a good program, okay? Pero you also have to look at sin the winners of that uh, of that uh, program. Mga bata, sino na gold, sino na silver, sino na bronze. Did any NSA tap them to become a part of the national pool? Diba? Kung wala, then why are we doing this? This program, so we all have to work together. You know, the PSC, the NSA, government officials. Okay. Yes, uh, Paulina Versosa, CNN Philippines. <coughs> Hi, Chairman. Um, so you mentioned that you visited a lot of NSAs already and athletes. Did they air some of their concerns, some of uh, the things that they're struggling with, or even anything they're happy about um, in their talks they had with you? Um, yeah, uh, it's it's pretty pretty simple. So like like uh, in Baguio, okay. So I visited the the facility, and I went into their uh, where they sleep, and all I saw was bunk beds and no closets, and all the the clothing were hanged on the bunk beds, okay. And then I walked through a dormitory in Baguio, and, uh, where Filipino athletes from Manila go there and stay in the dormitory. And it's my closet, my beds, my couch. So I mean, is why the difference? Parang mali. So I'm having now, I'm having have PSC deliver and find closets for all the, the athletes. As simple as build your table, now where they do, um, you know, after training, when they all get together, play build, sira yung build your table. So, I'm having the PSC ship right away, I build their table because we have it in a storage facility and I added a ping pong table to actually for the athletes, for everyone there. It's as simple as that, you know, minor complaints. You know, I go I go to Wushu here in MSAS, uh, and EPSAS building and, you know, it's a two-year-old building in Banyo, you know, cabinet sira sila, sira lahat. So I can go down the line. So I just have to work with uh, the facilities, which is going to be crucial to help me also to serve that. The, whoever's in charge of the PSC uh, facilities, I will work together. I will get involved. Chairman, aside from facilities, did they also have any concerns about their um, budget, allowance, equipment, training? Uh, hindi naman. But they were, they were happy to get the, the allowances already on time. Okay. There's also something to think about, you know, um, a normal 
a new athlete you know, the non, in the non-training pool, you know, uh, or he gets around 10,000 uh, pesos uh, a month. And that's barely 350 pesos a day. That's way below minimum wage. So I'm, I'm going to try to work on you know, at least minimum wage. But to, if, if, if I have to increase it to minimum wage, I have to adjust the other levels of, of salary. So I still have to find budget. So it's something I have to work with finance and work with the uh, with the government, you know, para sa because it's unfair, na man, uh, you know. Let's face it, 350 pesos a day. Come on, go ahead. Chairman, um, sabi niyo po, uh, three months pa lang mo na yung pag-usapan, but has your long-term goals crossed your mind already in the six-year term you have as PSC chairman? Uh, with all the stuff going on. Um, uh, hindi pa, pero you know I want to sit down also uh, with the past chairmen. I'm, uh, I'm scheduled to sit down with uh, Chairman Chairman Noli, which I asked for that. Uh, you know, we go to uh, all the rest, you know, to get to, to pick their brain and get some ideas also. I I understand also that I'm also I uh, involved in the NAS and the PSI, so that's something also that I have to get my my feet wet on that department. Yeah, so uh, this is a handful already. And then I still have to fix my back of house. So I'm So I just have to prioritize. And I still am committing to going around and to all sports, which is I'm scheduled for three or four sports this week. Ivan Suwing, uh, Daily Tribune. Uh, good morning, Mr. Man. Uh, with with a lot of uh, training camps and national opens po for the C teams and Asian teams, how's the PSC making sure po na meron pong budget for every, meron pong budget na nakalahan whenever NSAs will propose those training camps and those national opens? Well, the board meeting, we discussed that naman. And so we have uh, updated uh, financials also when it comes to uh, NSAs asking requests. The only problem we have right now is nagahabul kami. So, because with with, with uh, Chairman Nolly, you know, there were for four months there was approval, and pero wala naman board. Okay, so checks has not been released, no signatory. So basically, I'm coming in, the board is coming in, and they're asking me to sign. And you know, I can't you know actually sign something that I wasn't a part of. So I'm going through every board resolution, any every request, and to clear because it was a stack of, of, of folders that I have to go through. So we're doing that. And we're catching up already. We had already like three board meetings, and we're catching up. Peter. Uh, good, good morning, Peter, Chairman. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, how is the distribution of assignments of NSA uh, activities with the commissioners, and how are you? How was your how are, how are meeting with the commissioner? Well, I have no issues with all the commissioners. You know, it did quite well. Okay, uh, when I divided the sports. Pinauna ko muna si Ma'am Bongku out of respect. So she chose her sports. And then I let, I let uh, Edward Heiko and Wal uh, Commissioner Walter Torres you know, divide the sports. And whatever was left, uh, I just took it in habang wala pa yung mga unisang commissioner. It just so happened that most of the sports that was left was from the MVP group. So ako muna magka-take over. Uh, what what if what uh, sport uh, NSA will you be closely monitoring from your end? Uh, Oversight. As, aside from um, uh, Commissioner Torres handling around uh, 13 and 13 regular NSAs and then a lot of and the whole para games para uh, events. Yon. Well, I'll be going around, so you know I'll, I'll be committing to going going around oversight of all the athletes. You know I won't allow the man. No, the commissioners just basically just to handle each board that I'm not involved. You know, just like down at the budget meeting, I'm not supposed to be part of that budget meeting. But you know, I'll, I'll show up also and find out what's happening and get updates. But again, 
I'll be overall anyway. I'll be going around, so I will know. So all the NSA are yes, sir. Under under umbrella, umbrella. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Chairman Marty Bautista here of TV Five. Um, you mentioned the free meals for the athletes. Could you just briefly really explain how that setup will be? Is it breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a timeline on when do you think this could be implemented? Uh, hopefully soon. I'm still getting an update from finance. Um, right now, it's I know, um, I'm trying to work with uh, uh, the FIBA LOC uh, in charge of accreditation and IDs. Uh, see, her name, his name is Sherwin. So uh, right now, it's you know when the athlete comes, the athlete is paying right now. Okay, so I want to stop that, and maybe if they have an ID that you know instead of writing down the names, they'll be actually. Um, just showing their ID, scan the RFID, and then it will tell you how many meals he ate, you know, if he's eligible to eat or not. So I'm still working on, on that. Also, which reminds me of future plans, just to add on, you know, um, I'm gonna, I, I plan to have a ticketing system for PSC, for all the events in Rizal Memorial and Ultra. Why should I pass it on to SF TicketNet or TicketNet? Why can't the PSC have um, its own ticketing system. So I'm, I'm meeting with someone who can actually build something together with the ID of PSC to work together to have a PSC system. Also, if you notice where SM is building, uh, where the museum is, uh, there is like five storage areas or for these that is shut. So I'm asking, uh, I'm preparing that. I have letters ready to for me to send it out, you know, for a 7-Eleven, a Family Mart, or a coffee shop. I can actually uh, pay rent or have a lease for the athletes. For the, and it's, a, it's prime space because it's going to be right in front of SM. Across SM. Across SM. Lastly, sir, uh, more of a personal question to you. Um, you've had experience playing as a basketball player for the Alaska Milkman and also a green archer yourself. How do you think that your experience as an athlete can help boost you in leading the PSC? Well, if I'm going to. Well, uh, I've been dealing with athletes all my life. I've, I've, I am one before, and I've been managing athletes, and I've been also fortunate to have uh, a boss for 25 years, Mr. Itengsu. So he is actually my uh, the first guy I called uh, when I got this job, and he'll be always my advisor. Every move I make, I will always call him. Uh, my experience with from the basketball to all the athletes and having athletes will actually help because I'm going to. Because I'm going to make things simple. Just focus on the athlete and focus on the sport. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be basketball. You know, an athlete is an athlete, all the same. I just have to focus on them, their concerns, and nothing else. Sir, uh, Chairman, I just have a follow up. Um, in the last PSA forum of the last uh, PSA chairman, Coach Ramirez, before Commissioner Noli Ayala. Um, he said that the PSC needs another personality stronger than Butch Ramirez and possibly who has access to the president. Um, and as so Philippine society, you need political clout to demand many, many things. What do you think about this, sir? Do you think you have the political clout po, that he was referring to um, as you lead PSC? Po? Well, it'll make your job easier if uh, you are friends with everyone. Not only the president, not only that, but also the MVP group, the San Miguel group, everyone, all stakeholders involved. You know, it'll make my job easier if everyone comes in and buys into my my system or the way I, I want it. Especially the POC also. Important you know, you know, for them to also buy in and uh, and it'll make it easier. The key here basically is you know it's different personalities, but the key here is win win situation. Para sa atleta. Joey Villar, Philippine Star. Hi, Chairman. Uh, we know that you've already established uh, being a like athletic centric uh, chairman, but uh, uh, we're curious to know if oh, what's your thoughts or predictions, targets, uh, goals in the Olympics, Asian Games, uh, Southeast Asian Games, and in other uh, international multi sports events. Uh, maybe you can come back to me with that question uh, a few months from now because right now, again, I'm just focused on the fixing everything in PSC and uh, focus on the athletes. I know once I, 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 I help out the athlete, everything will follow. 
but I don't want to make any prediction yet. Mas sa focus lang sa ano. Okay. Ang daming ayusin eh. So. Now one more question, Chairman. If if uh, given a uh, chance to pick between these two, like, will you let everyone travel even though they didn't medal in the last Sea Games, or will you only send athletes who medal or who have a chance to medal in the Sea Games? Yeah. Which one would you pick? The, the, that was a discussion also in the board meeting. Eh? So there was questions why a kid, a athlete, not in the training pool. Uh, is going and why are we pay, why is PSC paying for it? You know, but I made the commissioners understand is na maski na nas hindi kasama sa national training pool. How do you expect her or he to uh, improve if hindi kasale sa international games? So you know, so we made adjustments and you know, some artists hindi na kasama sa national training pool can actually go and. Uh, and, and abroad and, and perform and supported by the, the PSC. But we also have to take a look at, you know, there's some sports, the almost three fourths in this national training pool. So that's what we're out of question about bucket. But if it's just one or two or less than five, then, then fine. How my experience the money international games? Because we all know the money, but if you experience international games, you know, it'll benefit the athlete. Okay, we have a question from uh, our guest panelist here, Red Dumo. Chairman, uh, the presence yes, of uh, PSC is on the is mainly limited to Manila. In fact, there are also in Cebu and some other parts of the country. And as the Secretary General of the National Physical Fitness and Sports Development Councils, will you be activating? these councils at the different levels because POC and PSC cannot do it alone? Yes, uh, we have an office in Cebu, we have an office in Davao, and we have an office which is donated by Ilocos Governor, called, yeah, right? Yes, yeah. So he donated an office. So I'll be visiting all the offices and see how we can actually work all together and for grassroots and you know find that you know these, these athletes that can help out the national team later on so i'll be involved first and then and then i can let go already once i set up everything do you have any plans sir of having the psc charter how do you say amended like for example to the board the interagency things and so on i haven't actually uh what is it Got that yet, and or got involved in that yet? But you know that you know I can always look at it later on. But importante muna is the the atleta, especially when you have around the corner in my events already. Correct. Thank you, Edwin Rollion, Metropoler. Good morning, Chairman. Uh, after the you know, the decision of FINA, uh, World Aquatics na po ngayon na uh, bawi and withdraw yung recognition sa PSI, uh, ano po ba ang naging action ng PSI para sa mga atleta natin? And yung PSI po, uh, they continue to use the facilities sa uh, Ultra, despite of the memo of the FINA. I think there's a deeper story to that kasi uh, I think the NSA brought it up to CAS, yes. the highest arbitration. So, there's still, uh, there's still, you know, um, what's this politics going on? Okay, let's put it that way. Now, uh, I met with Bumble and I met with also Lani. Okay, important thing is basically that the swimmers are training and not being paid. Okay, so I was I was able to work out a deal that the, Olive, the POC and the, PA, uh, the NSA, Lani Velasco, allowed me, gave me the go signal to pay those salaries. So the, the athletes are taken care of, all right? My last resort to there, to that would be, uh, you know, me funding those athletes with the backup of Mr. Itaisu. But uh, I, have the, the, I don't get involved in the, in the politics of the NSA or the POC, and the uh, athlete gets paid. That's all. <coughs> okay, we have one question from our guest, sports, energetic sports blogger, Gab Pereira of Sports Corner. Good morning, uh, Chairman Bagman. This is Gab Pereira. Energetic of Chairman. Yes. Oh, uh, this is Gab Ferreras from Sports Corner PH. Gusto ko sana magtanong, 
Ano ba yung mga specific plans or projects na mga nagdaang uh, previous PSC leaderships like si Chairman uh, Ramirez at si Chairman Ayala kasi nabanggit natin, merong plano si uh, Chairman Ayala na buhayin itong gintong alay. Ano yung mga specific na plano ninyo uh, para sa elite national team natin? Well, we all know naman na uh, <laughs> we all know naman na uh, there are plans in place. Okay, pero medyo nakulangan tayo sa execution. Okay. So, you know, after I go through all the problema ng PSC, then I will actually go into all the projects and see how we can, you know, how we can actually um, get that running again. You know, there's also the PSI, you know, which has been idle uh, for, a, for a couple of, of years or, or, or months. But there's also, I actually met with the NAS okay, uh, yesterday and they gave me a, a, a brief on, on what is happening, you know, so there's a lot to do, I said, again, again there's the Ginto Kala, you know, so, you know, inuuna ko muna in short term, kasi you know, all the events coming up are all, all right there in the corner, okay, so let me focus on the active person, I'll let you know on the, the future plans. Last question na lang, uh, meron kayong nigaganap na chess demonstration, with the Russian former world champion na si Parvov, uh, mamaya ang Apol. Can we detail us to call ka dun sa gagawin nga chess demonstration with uh, bibisita natin na Russian chess grandmaster? Thank you po. Yeah, the, that's happening this afternoon at 3. Um, they wrote us a letter just late last week. Yeah, right? Late last week and looking for a venue. <coughs> so basically, we supported them and then they chose, we showed them a result memorial. So they agree with Rizal Memorial, and they'll be actually showing a movie, and then so I'll be there, Mamaya, and I'll just introduce welcome remarks, Mr. Karpov, and then I will pass it on to him already. Eugene, uh, Sir Eugene Torre also will be there, and some athletes also from the UAAP Yata will be there also. Uh, just to set the record straight for my esteemed colleague from the Metropolar. The case filed by the PSI is still pending with the card of purchase for sport and in the deposition of the world swimming, they continue to recognize PSI as a member of the world swimming body. As in fact, they have paid $200 already for the annual membership fee. So until such time as uh, uh, we would like to they recognize the PSI it's still there. So, sir, uh, just just to clarify, uh, we're going back to basketball, sir, uh, Chairman Bachman, because based on the again the budget of the GAA is one billion for the operations as well as the well one billion for the entire hosting of the FIBA World Cup. And this is a big amount. And uh, since you are you are privy as operations chief of the FIBA basketball operations, uh, how do you, how do you intend to disperse this amount? Especially we have a background that in 2019 Saudi Station Games there were uh, it was so delayed. The, the financial audited statements were delayed. So how do we prevent that? It, it took about three years before it was finally completely liquidated. And be, being the disperser of this huge amount, sir. How will you uh, be able to uh, avoid uh, any delays, especially after the hosting of the FIBA World Cup, which is just some months away? My simple answer to that is basically, it's going to be my signature on that check. And, the, and COA, there's no such thing as pre-audit. It's always post-audit. So, ako yung matadadali. So I've been working with uh, FIBA LOC already on the requirements on the liquidation since two weeks ago, and they're getting everything ready. Um, the budget is there because everyone is coming together, because we all know that this is a huge event, and this is also good for the country. So everyone is coming together to support the FIBA world, and that's why it's there. I just have to make sure that the, the SBB uh, FIBA LOC liquidates properly, which I will do with the coordination with the FIBA LOC and our finance department and the LOC. Thank you.
Before Jerry Ramos' final question, we have uh, one, just one question from Clyde Mariano. During the time of Chairman William Ramirez, he assigned Ramon, Commissioner Ramon Fernandez to oversee and supervise Grasco's program in the Visayas. Since Commissioner Gilbert Hegel is in Cebuano, do you intend to assign him to man and oversee all the grassroots program in the Visayas, particularly in the Queen City of the South? <laughs> You know, I won't, I won't give it to one person. You know. uh, he has, I know he has a vast uh, experience in, in grassroots. I do also have gra uh, experience in grassroots, and so does the other uh, commissioners. But we will all work together to help each other, and but, uh, we will fix the grassroots. I'm actually meeting uh, him Feb 9 to discuss the grassroots program. Jerry Ramos. Spin that page. Good morning, Chairman. Chairman, upon assuming the chairmanship of PSC, you also gave up your job as PBA3X3 chairman and sa, as operations manager nga ba ng sa PBO World Cup. Yeah. Uh, yes, so basically I, I had to give up three positions. So uh, UAP commissioner, okay. Uh, the PBA uh, 3X3 and uh, head of operations for the FIBA LOC. But again, what I told, uh, let's say UAP, na, I will not naman let go and, and leave you guys hanging. So I was able to find someone who can actually replace me right away. And I also told them that um, I will support and watch the games. And if there's any issues, you know, my office is open. For the PBA 3X3, you know, I had to let that go, and Kaya Namani, Commissioner Marshall, Eric, Joey, and Ronnie to handle the PBA uh, 3X3. I'm also the type that, those are my babies, so I, I will always be there to support. Like yesterday, I was in the practice of uh, the Gilas 3X3, okay, so they have a FIBA Asia Cup coming up. So I was there. To, I went there to watch practice and support. Okay, for the fee by LOC, I, I may have given it up, but we'll be still working together. Because the requirements, la, the budgets, nila, basically that that it's happening. So, kung baga parang kasama pa rin. Mas madali ba chairman na you're the PSC chairman na? Uh, di naman, hindi naman. Well, you all know already na. No, but that's my problem. So, tolo man ang tayo lahat. You know, even you guys. You know, if you have anything to tell me or help me, just my my door is always open. And that's what I made sure my first day. Anyone can come to my office. Chairman, one last question. If if your father is still around, the lam natin legendary basketball, asya Kurt Bachman. What would you tell you that now you're the PSC chairman? Uh, you know, when they asked me if I was interested, um, my first question is was basically, we all know my brother is a NSA president of squash. So my first question to the presidential management group was, will this affect my brother? Okay, so the answer was, hindi naman. I go, okay, kung hindi pala din, I meant, I am okay, one. The second question was, I, if I remember right, he was basically uh, running for BSC ATA before. Is he still being considered? So he also told me that Dicky Hindina is not being considered. So I go, okay, so if that's another that case, then I would be interested. You know, I won't turn back on sports. I won't turn back on athletes. Especially when my father was part of the Philippine team, especially Olympia in the 1960s. So that's why I'm here. Thank you, Joe. One last question from Joseph Ramos, Business Mirror. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> Good morning, uh, Chairman. Uh, tanong ko lang po, ano yung plano ng PSE about sa celebration ng uh, ng Olympics kasi 1924 to, to uh, 2024 ay eh, Paris Olympics kung baga yung ano, ano. meron ba tayong any plans about it? Uh, that's where the POC and the PSE have to work together. So far, I'm not even thinking of that yet. I'm thinking of the athletes and how to prepare them for the upcoming games, Southeast Asian Games. So maybe uh, late in the future, in a few months, you know, uh, Sir Bambol and, and his group will be actually sitting down with me to discuss those future plans. Okay, Chairman, marami pong napag-usapan, especially yung mga short-term program po muna natin, no? Uh, now, this is uh, your chance to uh, give a message also to our stakeholders out there. Ano po ang message ninyo sa kanila, athletes, uh, and everyone sa Philippine sports. That's your parting shot po. Again, uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, to everyone watching on Facebook, you know, uh, always support the Filipino athlete, all sports, not just basketball. And opportunity also for now, maybe uh, to get all the corporations involved, not only the government, but all corporations to actually help out the Filipino sport and the Filipino athlete. Maraming salamat po.